Back at it again, baby, and we got another one from Jordan Peterson. We have the video which made Jordan Peterson famous. Almost didn't even get to this video today because your boy uh, has been having a little PC trouble. My CPU has been overheating a little bit. Well, not even a little bit. It, it got up to like 90 degrees Celsius uh, yesterday. I got it. I got the AIO changed out, but it's still idling a little high, like just over 50 degrees Celsius. So I don't know what's going on with it, but I'm going to keep trying to get these videos out to y'all regardless. Anyway. Let's dive right on into it. I want to go talk to Peterson. <laughs> Peterson, do you have any comments on the Nazi presence at your protest? The presence of Nazis and white supremacists assaulting people at your protest. Do you have any comment on that? Yeah, I don't like Nazis. Then why are you... Why were they here? Well, how can I answer are there, if, that? Are there views in alignment? He said, well, yeah, I don't like Nazis. And then the person, whoever this is, like, has... Like, what? Well, what do I say next? He said he doesn't like him. So what he's supposed to say, right? He said what you wanted him to say. What are you supposed to say? Now what? With yours? At some point. Yeah. Well, well, how can I answer are there, that? If, are there views in alignment you? with yours? At some yeah, point, you have to realize. I think that's a foolish question. Look, do you want to know what my views are? I've watched all of your videos, yes. Including videos. Yes, yes, I have. Yes. Then why would you ask such a question? Because, because this is my interpretation of your videos. You, apparently, I wanted all, all of the people who arranged the protest against you watched all of your videos. It's like, do you want to disavow? I have 150 videos on YouTube. No, you your lectures, tell... which sparked the debate. Okay, okay. Do you I have want to disavow the support? Could you let me talk to her for a moment? Then don't tell me that, please. Her. So, I have 150 lectures on YouTube. There's 500 hours of my views. Do you really if think you that you're worth all of that were, time? So look, I will answer your question, okay? I've studied Nazism for a very long time. It's been four decades. And I understand it very well. And I can tell you that there's some awful people lurking in the corners, and they're ready to come out. And if the radical left keeps pushing the way that it's sounds pushing, very much like a they're threat. going to come. That sounds very much like a threat. threat. That sounds very much like a threat. Would you like to disavow the physical violence trans people were physically assaulted at this rally in your name? Would you like to disavow that violence? Yes. So you wish that didn't happen, and you watch, and I'm going to post this online that you would like people to not to be to be more accommodating of trans people and people of color at your events in future. I would I'm like a person there of to color. be no Listen, violence. I am a person of color and I felt very accommodated here. I felt like my too. voice, thank I'm you very much. I'm a person of color, I like this guy. I'm a person of color, I like this guy. You want? Got him. You wanted to disavow, and this is the disavow. I am not an advocate of violence. I'm speaking right out the way I'm speaking out because I think this is a route to no violence. And violence is lurking. And you can say that that sounds like a threat. There was no violence at our protest, though. There was violence at your protest. So what does that because say about our view? It's not my it's protest. Not and you know, ask, asking me continually afraid of questions isn't very helpful if you actually want to have a dialogue. You have no idea if I'm your enemy. You have no idea about me. You won't use my pronouns, so I'm pretty sure you're my enemy, yes. Yeah, well, I know you think that, but I don't believe that using your pronouns is going to do you any good in the long run. I think it'll do quite the contrary. What the is what? that your medical like, opinion? What? Is that your medical opinion? Like, you I'm are aware that non-binary people are valid in the on, in the American this Psychological Association. Is that your opinion? Yes, it is. No, it's not. It's about non-binary pronouns. No, it's not. Yeah, no, I'm, it's not. I'm, I'm saying that that's Did what I'm about. Were you there when I spoke? Yes. I've been here for this whole thing. Okay, well, I don't know that. I'm, it's a genuine question. I look, I think that's what's happening is that we're pushing over a line we shouldn't cross. The newest legislation is requiring people to use... But you are aware that language. that's being put in place so that we can't get fired. We need to be written to the, into the Canada Human Rights fired. Legislation that's or we can right. be fired for our gender right. identity. Well, right. then why'd you make a fucking video about it? I've been denied housing as a trans person. These rights would protect denied me. Denied housing? I've been denied housing. From the state or for, for the open market? So have you been denied housing, like... From the government? It's illegal from either way if we had from human rights. From the government? I'm not or, or have you tried to get a house like everybody else and they said, no, you're weird, you can't work. No, if the state they, has done they, that, that's a problem. They said, but if someone doesn't want to live with you, that's their right. They said, no, you're I'm trans. Really not sure how you so, no. It Where do people say that? If I had human rights, Look, that wouldn't have fucking happened. As far as I'm weird. I don't want to live with schizophrenia. As far as I'm concerned, that's a terrible thing. It's too bad that that's happening. So you don't want us, to, but you don't want us to have protections in the human rights. There, there, there's a whole lot going on. I'm, I'm listening. I was listening to the guy in the back to see uh, what exactly he meant by weird. So I didn't catch what Jordan Peterson said. It's too bad that that's happening. So you don't want us to, but you don't want us to have protections in the human rights bill that will allow me to have employment, no, allow me to have housing security, allow me to have medical care. That's what this is about. That's it's not about infringing on your rights or making you learn a new fucking pronoun. I don't think that's what...
okay, you can have your rights, but you're not going to tell me what I have to say. You can have your rights. Let's separate the two then. I mean, like, uh, that's the thing. Like, I feel like a lot of this stuff is common sense. If that is really in the bill that you can't be discriminated against, yeah, sure, I'm all for it. But, like, if you're going to tell me that I have to say something, like, hell no. So let's separate the two. You can have your rights. I feel like that's common sense, though. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like, am I stupid? Maybe I'm maybe I'm just stupid and I'm just uh, I, I don't know. Y'all let me know. What it's about? Yeah. What evidence do you have that attempting to transform the way that people use pronouns is going to produce a positive effect? Because on are you aware that there is a trans boy who killed himself in psychiatric care recently because he was continuously being misgendered by his care workers? And that is my precise problem. And there have been multiple multiple recorded instances of trans people killing themselves Straight because because, themselves because they are right because they are right not right being right integrated right into society. Right we are not looking for special right treatment. We are looking people are killing themselves because they aren't called they or them you're called he or she like it i feel like and i'm not trying to make light of the situation but like if i address you as a he or a she but you wanted to be called they or them i don't feel like there's anything wrong with that you're a guy or a girl that's those those are the two sexes what's wrong with me calling you he or she i'm not like blatantly disrespecting you i'm not calling you a hey yo dumbass you know i'm not saying something wild like that i'm just hey hey yo my guy oh Hey yo, hey yo, sister or something. You're like, what is wrong with that? I, I'm lost. I'm, I'm genuinely lost. Some, some, somebody, please help me figure out what the hell this is. This, this is all about. I don't, I don't. To be able to integrate ourselves into society, and if you refuse to, if you refer, if you refuse to refer to us by our pronouns, which are is not a lot to ask. They, singular they pronouns go all the way back to Shakespeare. It's not a new thing. If you refuse to let us integrate ourselves into society, you create alienation that results in suicide. We are in a suicide epidemic right now. What are you contributing to this as a psychologist? Man, you know, you're almost impossible to talk to. You're so full of rhetoric that it's impossible to listen to you. I would be mutual. more than happy to listen to you. Rhetoric? Yeah, really. <laughs> I was devoid of rhetoric. And I did, yes, actually, I, I don't really think I am a rhetorician. Just so you know, just so you know that. And you know, like it's very hard to listen to you. I mean, it's very hard to attend to you because, because it's, you rattle on in your it's, with, with your ideological speech. It's not ideological. It's it. it's personal. That's what you. It's not you, personal. You haven't said a personal thing. I'm Everything talking about something so that affects far. my community. It's just that when you say the things that you say, it, it tends, even if you didn't mean it to, it attracts people like me and not the fascists because they see an avenue to what you're saying. Even if that's not what you meant, they see an avenue. And you're in the idea of like a more abstract form of free speech. They see an avenue in that. Okay, so if neo Nazis and whatever are the problem then why don't you go after them why are you going after jordan peterson since when since when is it his fault that somebody else does something look yourself in the mirror you are responsible for you it's your life not mine he's denounced it he said i don't support that like why are we still rambling on about this like i don't i don't understand is, is my logic off like am i going crazy please gen that's a genuine question like am i nuts let me know because i Part of me feels like I am. I may, I may, 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 I'm going crazy or something. I don't know. Continue to spread their hateful ideology and to make more people hateful. So that's why, that's why the Nazis come here. I just wanted to make sure that you knew that that's why that was. I'm so perfectly aware of it. I have a calm, rational question. Okay. I won't get emotional with you. Um, so, uh, who is this legislation harming? Who is harming anybody who wants to use their own words? So, in what, in what capacities? Be, be specific. Look. It's important that people are did able you, to use their own words. Okay. Because that's how we think. And so, if the government starts legislating how we think... And so if I wanted to call you... Like, Hold on, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I gotta, I gotta rewind that. So I'm sitting here editing this video, and I was trying to listen to see what exactly was said in that situation. And I think the black guy says something along the lines of, normal straight people that can have families. And the transgender chick responds, did you just slam my ability to not have kids and the black guy responds with yes let's get back to the video it's a lot going on in this video right now you know so i hey listen i apologize it's important that people are did able just, to use their own words my to not have kids. okay because that's how we think and so, if the government starts legislating how we think... And so if I wanted to call you like, she... Hey, look, you if, no, no, I'm, I'm playing off of what you're saying. If I wanted to call you she and her and miss, because that's my care. freedom of speech, and, and if everyone just called you that all the time, and that was the only thing. Call me. Can't you tell? I, I think that you think that you don't care. The difference between you calling him she 
is you know that he's a guy. Like, it's blatant. You could say, oh, well, no. You know most guys when you see them. You know most women when you see them. Are there some people who have certain characteristics or certain features that may make them look like the opposite sex? Yes, we've seen those individuals too, but for the most part, men look like men, women look like women. When you see them, you typically know. You typically know. So for you to call him a, a her or a she, like you're just blatantly being disrespectful. Like that's, that's just going out of your way to be disrespectful. If I see you and you look like a woman and I call you a she or a her or whatever, sister, you know, something pertaining to the female sex, that is not me being disrespectful. You look like a woman. Even if I know you used to be, I'll call you a she. The whole Leah Thomas situation, I'm not gonna be blatantly disrespectful. I'm not saying we gotta agree on everything but I'll call you a she sure yeah no problem but when, when you talk about getting into all this extra stuff and they them and whatever whatever like eh, come on man that's the difference in my opinion but let me know if I'm wrong At all the time and that was the only thing can you tell I, I think that you think that you don't care because you've never had to face that and it's a common trend among people who have never had to face uh, like transgender related discrimination that you think it's not a big deal because you don't have to deal with it I didn't say I didn't think it was a big deal I said I didn't care if people called me that but it does prevent us from accessing healthcare. It does prevent us from accessing other services. I'm not, I'm not arguing about your rights. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I have a question for you. Yeah. Do you realize that right now, if you were to kill a trans person, because only for the sole reason that they're trans, that would not be considered a hate crime. Sure, they could be convicted of murder, but not of a hate crime. And that's what this bill, that's what, that's what this bill is for. I don't see what this bill is for. Yeah, yeah. I don't see what this bill is for. 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 I am not claiming for a moment that people who don't fit into standard and traditional sexual categories or sexual identity categories this is don't about face all sorts of trouble. They do. I just don't think that this is the way to fix it. In fact, I think you not do not allow that legislative protections for discrimination for trans people. This way to you do not think that. That's right. I don't think Have you read the X laws are intentionally worded? Bring as many Most laws involving human rights. Much trouble to as many people as possible. What, what, would, we what, what would we gain from that? Of I didn't say it was a conspiracy. You think there is a concentrated effort behind these bills in order to specifically make the lives of people worse, and that's why we create human rights legislation to make it. I think that people. I think that people. And per personally, I agree with Jordan Peterson in terms of the legislating how people speak. You get into a area where once you open that Pandora's box, you never close it again. I could see that realistically happening. Obviously not overnight. That that would happen over over many years, but you you could see how that could possibly happen. So I don't know. Maybe I'm tweaking though. Y'all let me know. You often do things to make other people's lives worse, don't you? Well, clearly, as an example of this rally. I am probably the most fervent anti-statist you will ever meet. I am an anarchist, and I do not believe that anyone who writes legislation has the interest of anybody but themselves and their special interest groups at heart. So don't come at me saying that I want to suck off the nipple of the government, okay? Because that's not who I am. What I'm interested in is, in is in that people I love are being assaulted, are being killed, are being discriminated against, are being kicked out onto the street, are be are freezing to death in the winter because I'm of being denied action. shelter. And I feel but pronouns are too much to ask for you to show solidarity towards those people. If, if the sole reason that you are kicked out on the street is because you are trans, of course that's horrible. But pronouns has nothing to do with that. Nothing. But maybe I'm tweaking. I don't know. Well, sorry. Look, we agree that this is a thing that's happening. We agree that it's a reprehensible thing. That's okay, happening. sure. Let's agree on that. I, I mean, I don't think that that would be controversial to most people. I mean, apparently, I agree. So, I agree. Apparently, people some people think. Was, apparently, to, apparently, to some people, we're freaks because we because we can't have families or whatever. But but what? I, I, okay, whatever. Maybe that's maybe that's not something you agree with. I don't know. I'm not going to put words in your mouth now. Agree, agree. What I fail to understand is how. You honestly feel, in your expert opinion, as both an educator, as an educated person, that not calling somebody by by a pronoun that has been used to refer to no, I think it's, it's legislating it. It's legislating it is a necessity that I have an objection to. Okay, so 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 if so if there was this legislation was not on the table, if this legislation. 
fails, let's say, if this is removed, you would be totally fine referring to me with they, them pronouns. Probably not they and them. Probably not they and them. Why is no. that? Well, because I don't think it's a tenable solution. A I don't solution think it's a what? I don't think it's a solution to the to the problem that you're trying to solve. I mean, it's not. Look, think, it's, it's not respect. that easy to track. I know that's how you. You are no, you were literally you saying you, you can make up a word and make that a child's name, and you would refer to them by that name. Why is it different for a pronoun? You so well, it's different because, because it's, it's different. Because no, it's, it's, it's just as more than just asked. It's different because it's a pronoun for a lot of reasons. So you I mean, just, one of the reasons it's different is that pronouns turn out to be very yeah. difficult to change. They're closed linguistic. Which categories. is why we're using they then pronouns, which has historical this, continuity. This, this, yeah, you, it, yeah, I don't it, it is. That it is in the English language. It's in the Oxford English Dictionary. Years and years and years you, and it's nothing a, new. As an educator, okay, hold. Sorry, yeah, yeah. You were asked, "Would you refer to me using they then pronouns?" You said, "No, I wouldn't." When asked why, you said, because I don't think it's a solution. When I brought up then it was basic respect and so on, what you said was, oh, I wouldn't do it if I was like coerced or whatever you said. Somebody literally just asked, would you do this for me? And you said, no, I would not show you that respect. I would that not extend that amount of dignity to you. That's not what I said. Yes, you said, you said that you would not say that. He added extra stuff to it. He just said, no, I probably wouldn't. He added all the extra stuff. Oh no, I would disrespect you. Oh, I wouldn't give you that dignity. Blah blah blah. That's not. That's 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 not what he said. No, no, no yes, nobody asked. Nobody asked anything about if it's I came like basically. with a club and asked you to like use certain pronouns. What makes to you refer think? Me, what makes but you? But I just asked. asked would you refer to me if it wasn't for this law and I asked you to refer to me with they, them pronouns, would you? And your answer was no. Not so if I was sure. compelled to. This but we're saying you if you weren't. You said no, and then when I started asking you about, you said it wasn't a solution. When you were asked, what is it not a solution to? You said something vague. We said it's about basic respect. And then you said not if I was compelled to. So no, when you were just asked, as a matter of respect, in fact, would you refer to a trans person who asked you to use a they, them pronouns, a pronoun which has a several not hundred if I was year historical but we're, That's not what we're talking so about. Yes, it is, because we it's just, legislation. We're saying if it wasn't legislation. It's not legislation. I've got to stop, guys. Look, never mind the legislation. Look, too many of you. Okay, one I, simple I, question. I've had enough. Sorry, I can't do this anymore. One simple question. If, no, I'm done. I thought we were statistically law, irrelevant. Well, yeah, I mean, like, law, <laughs> I don't exist. If a trans person asked you, would you please refer to me by they and them pronouns, would you refer to them by those pronouns? Well, it might depend on how they ask. So, no. Why do you have the authority said, to determine whether or not... Refer to me why do I have, have the authority to determine what I say? Why do what you kind have, of question Why do you is have that? the authority? <laughs> Let me... Hey, say tell him, JP. Say tell him, JP. Of course I have the authority to say whatever the fuck I want to. Same way somebody has the authority to call me the, the hard R. It is what it is. Finish. Why do you have the authority to determine whether or not an individual is worthy of you using their pronouns? Like, if I asked you, would you please use they, them pronouns for me, what, what? It would depend on what, what I thought of your What hoops do you want us to jump through? Those what are my pronouns. Those are my pronouns. There's no pronouns. motivation. No, I know. Like, no one ever has any motivation. We're Those trying to pronouns. survive. To Politics are a product survive of our of our lives and us trying to live in this world we're not trying to no, live in this world as a product uh, of our politics you you i was apolitical before i came out as trans i got into politics because i needed to to survive to advocate against people like you no offense i have one quick question Okay, so they, them pronouns are written into the Oxford English Dictionary, the Merriam-Webster Dictionary. Um, it's actually the word of the year this year. Um, and so, and it is, it does have historical continuity all the way back to Shakespeare. It, it is objectively an English word, singular they pronouns, grammatically correct. Do you think that you can choose to not respect something that is in the English language as a professor, as an academic, I think that, I that you are going to, to do that? that you are, Absolutely. That, I am choosing that you're, to do that. You're, going, you're ignoring rules of the English language to go out of your way to disrespect students. That's your opinion. And I'm not going it to... Is my I didn't disrespect students. We're saying it's disrespectful to us. You don't get to decide what's disrespectful to us. You don't get to decide what's disrespectful to us. And you don't get to decide what I say. Okay, I think it's disrespectful that you're trying to make me say something that I don't want to say. So now what? Whose level of disrespect is, is more important? Are, 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 we, are we all important? Like you make it sound or are you more important? I'm just asking. I'm just asking. I'm offended. So who's more important now? Is it my, is it my offense or is it yours? Where do we go with this? That's just me. Y'all let me know how you feel about it in the comment section below. Like, share, comment, and of course, hit that subscribe button before you go. And go and join the new Discord server. It's the first link down below.
Peace and love. I'm out.